So, I hear there's a guy driving around a sweet 55. I heard he's got the fastest ride in town. Do you know who it is? No, but I'm gonna find out. I'm Christine Danchuk and I'm here today with Bob Pavlik from Yorba Linda, California and we are going back to the 60s with the movie American Graffiti and his 55 210 that was designed to look like the 55 Chevy in the movie. Bob, how did you become such a big Chevy fan? Oh, I've been a 55 through 57 Chevy fan for a long period of time. My first car was a 1956 Chevrolet Bel Air two-door hardtop. And that was my, uh, when I was a junior in high school, I got wow. that car. And then after that, I got tired of it and got a 56 Chevy convertible mm -hmm. and did some modifications, had that repainted. Uh, and then shortly after I got that, I joined the Marine Corps and was sent over to Vietnam for 13 months. So this isn't your first Tri-5. Tell me about the time when you drag raced your 55 150. The drag racing was fun, you know. A buddy and I that I, I met in Anaheim, him and I used to drag race together all the time. He had a Corvette and I had the 55 Chevy. And at that time, I believe it was called B-Gas I was running in. And I had a big block 396 Chevy in it, Pontiac rear end, and it was a pretty, pretty fa fast car. When did you purchase your 55 210? I purchased this in June of last year. I had a 55 convertible. I had a 55 150, that's the one I drag raced, and then I also had the 55 Nomad. Well, the 210 is the model that I've never had. Uh -huh. So I kind of wanted to get back into the 55 scenario again and spotted this one at the John Force car show in Europe Linda. And uh, I just fell in love with it because it's done just the way I would do the car if it was mine from the beginning. It's got the, the rear quarters or off a 55 Nomad, so it's got the proper curvature to the wheel well cutouts, and the stance is pretty much the same as the 55. The hood scoop is the same as the one in American Graffiti, the roll bar, and so that, that's what it was designed after. So you bought this car pretty much completed. What are some of the things that you changed? I've done continually modifications on it when I got it. Uh, the radio didn't work, the heater didn't work, it now has air conditioning, the radio's a new radio in it. The tail light bezels, the headlight bezels, they were kind of pitted and scratched, so I got new ones from Dan Chuck. Make it stance a little bit different, you know, the wheels have to be a little bit different, and so as times change, you change and modify the car a little bit, but I don't think when, when you're a uh, when you're a car fanatic, the cars are ever done. What's it like to drive this car? It is crazy. <laughs> it is crazy because the, the people uh, of my age and, and my era, they recognize what the car stands for and what it looks like immediately, you know. And the car, like I say, it just handles beautifully. Um, the back tires, you know, each tire has 13 inches on the ground, so it has awesome traction. and. It's just a good driving, handling car, and with the air conditioning in it now, even on a hot day, it's comfortable. <laughs> Thank you, Bob, for coming and showing us your 55 210. I really appreciate the invite and showing me throughout Danchuk, and it's been really impressive. And I thank you again. I hope all of you enjoyed this interview as much as I did. We'll see you out there cruising the boulevard. <laughs>